Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to make some ATCs, or an ATC. Um, an ATC is an artist trading card, and I've made lots of them. Um, and a lot of the ones I make are from a, an online source called Your ATC Store. And Lisa Dawson is the owner, and she was kind enough to send me the free with purchase kits so and they happen to be Halloween um, and a couple of other ones September 2018 July 2018 and August 2018 so I am going to make some ATCs um, an artist trading card is two and a half by three and a half inches in size and I've made lots of different types and styles and kinds. I've entangled them. And the cool thing about them is you can keep these and um, collect them in those, um, they're baseball card sleeves, right? So I have a binder. I've done swaps. Um, and I've just made my own. I really was addicted to these for a long time. Um, and so when Lisa gave me the opportunity, I thought, yeah, I need to make some ATCs. So um, let me show you what we have here. So the kits, generally, um, they're very inexpensive. Um, I want to say three dollars maximum, and that's and that's including everything you'll need to create a little two and a half by three and a half inch work of art. So I mean. She puts everything into these things. You get a little piece of fabric. Um, she, she even puts uh, a charm. So they're super cute. I, I have shown these before on my channel. Look at this. I mean, you know what? She also sent me, um, I'll show you that too at the end. She sent me a bunch of ephemera. But let's just see what's in this kit. So generally you'll get two or three different two three four different types of paper for the theme so this one is a halloween theme look at this it's ribbon that says happy i was just painting so i have paint happy halloween look at this it's like a gold trim it's paper a gold paper trim a little sticker like with glitter a glitter pumpkin jack-o-lantern four brads cardstock in purple um purple and black and orange a little gate and i think she describes how she would like me to use this in our email i believe and i haven't read it in a while this looks like it's been embossed i don't know if that, the camera's picking that up and then there's always more than one omg this is adorable a moon can you guys see this stuff i should be zoomed in I don't want to zoom in too much because I, OMG, it's a Cupid doll. It's like a paper doll with a costume. Oh my God, this just made me so happy. I'm so glad I haven't <laughs> looked at these yet. So generally what I would do is um, cut a piece of, uh, I like to use, and I usually have one right here. You can use whatever, but I like to use file folders like a manila file folder and I'm just checking to see if I have so in other words like this one let's see I don't have one that I haven't used yet just as my backing but it doesn't have to be like these are just I've painted them black so that I had a black backed um, ATC to start with they sell uh, pre-cut ATCs but you can use, like I have um, watercolor paper and things like that that have a little bit more substance to them just so they're not flimsy. And then when I'm done making the, um, the actual ATC card, I will put it, I will back it. Oh, Kirby just got back. So see, here's what I mean. So this is an ATC. And I don't know, I did definitely, this is probably a piece of... Um, jelly print paper that I made or I might have just done a mixed media background but then I mount the whole entire thing on a piece of a fo file folder just to, to make it strong like a, a trading card so that and then there's these little sleeves and Lisa has all of these supplies available 
and so you should definitely see look you can even take a little sticker like this and back your ATC with it and you put your you can you can create um, sets so they can come in a set and put your name um, but anywho so let's just see I think this is probably two and a half by three and a half so the card would end up being this size and I'll go off camera and I'll um, cut things out so I'll fussy cut I definitely have to fussy cut this little cupid doll come on so generally when I make ATC cards um, I like mixed media so you can add pretty pretty much anything goes you can do layers and layers with collage you can add that's why Lisa generally will put a brad in there was there a charm she put a blingy sticker let me open this one. let me just see if there's a sticker no there's just brads I think no there's a charm in there see maybe the sealers usually like in this one I can see a shoe in this one I see a flower a hot air balloon this one's like a steampunky up up and away um, so anywho um, the sky's the limit there are really no rules a lot of times when you do a swap or something there'll be a theme for sure uh, or maybe you can even do it as a pick a stick challenge meaning that you pick sticks that have um, suggestions of what media to use what colors what style things like that so this is called fussy cutting um, anywho for me I feel like this is a very easy way if you get a kit to just sit down you get your you get your package in the mail and you're gonna create you're gonna come away you don't have to think a lot you don't need oops I almost cut the hand off I did kinda cut the hand off you don't have to um, have anything but glue pretty much and um, you're gonna come away with a little work of art that you're gonna love too that is super cute like I've inked the edges of my stuff when I fussy cut you know how you use your um, distress inks things like that but you don't have to I like to use um, what is that stuff called it's the uh, dimensional tape by 3M to pop things up um, so so many ideas but again just using what you get in the kit and you're gonna be good to go um, but I do have like a little bin filled with other um, textiles as I guess they would call it little ribbons and bling um, things but in general the kit is the way to go so you don't even have to worry about any of that look it's a little cupid doll and it has a little OMG and then I'm gonna put the uniform so look this looks like a little Valentine's image but then when you add the costume I'm totally gonna add the costume so I'm gonna go off camera and cut out some stuff I'm gonna figure out what she wanted me to do with this gate and I'll be back and we'll create this little thing we'll put it all together um, I'll be right back all right so let's start I just cut this is like um, from the dollar store, a little manila file folder. So it's not even that strong, but I just use that for my backing and I've cut that into a two and a half by three and a half inch ATC shaped card. Um, you also get a sleeve for your card when it's done. Just a little, uh, oh, that goes in there. All right, so I cut out my Cupid doll and her little costume, the moon, and the gate now this was Lisa's suggestion for the gate she emailed me so um, I cut I fussy cut it out so when she sends it to you it's going to be just on a and I lazy fussy cut it so I didn't cut all that intricate work out of the gate I basically just cut the posts and then up down up down around everything plus I wanted it to have some stability but I am going to cut directly down the center 
um, which this is an option. So I'm going to leave it together for one second because I don't necessarily think it has to be able to open. This is where the fun comes in because you get to design this the way you see fit. Um, I really liked this bat paper, um, but that's not to say like I could cut out just little a couple of um, Harlequin patterns and just put them for decoration too. Um, and a lot of times I like to use these as framing. So first thing I'm going to do is cut this into two and a half by three and a half because I am going to use this in the very background. So I'm just going to even it up. It's a little wonky. And see, there's still, you can use this piece, the scrap piece too. So if, you know, I needed to use that behind this, you know, it, it, don't throw anything away because you can all, it's all usable. All right, so this, and then I really like this orange too. So let's, I want to put my Cupid doll together. And I decided to save, to do it with the tabs. Now, a paper doll is a paper doll. You, you're meant to be able to change their costumes. But in this case, I could have cut these little tabs off and just glued them onto her. But I thought it was fun to just use the tabs. I don't know. It's to each his own, right? And then I'm going to put the little hat on. It covers her little cupy hair. But you could absolutely just cut the tabs off and just glue it on, which I still may do. I'm just kind of playing right now. And I like that on there. And then the gate. So see, I think the gate's going to pop better on the orange. And I think I'm just going to use the gate in one piece. I'm not going to cut it open. And I also think I'm just going to layer this on top of here. Um, and then use my trims. I got to put the moon up there. And then this little jack-o'-lantern will go down in the corner. I'm going to use these brads. She sends you four brads as the little... Um, and that's the other reason I like to use a piece of backing because if you're using a brad or a charm or something you can cover the back of the brad up I'll show you when I glue that on to the backing so I think see this is really cool too but I think I want to go with the bats um, I'm going to cut this down. I really like the plane, I think. I'm going to go with this. Let's look, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to cut this down to two and a half by one and a half. So let me just cut it. And I'm going to put it in the middle. And I could definitely ink my edges, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use my ATG gun just to keep it real simple. And I oh, haven't used it in a while. There we go. Wait a minute. I think my, my glue is sticking to itself. I love, I used, this was one of my very first, um, Paper crafting supplies. I can't remember how to open it. Anywho, uh, there we go. I love this. Was I was so excited when I first got this. Um, it's in an advanced tape glider. It's called, and there's the tape. The tape has um, double stick adhesive on it. Here we go. And it's so convenient. I used to make all my scrapbooks with this too. I really like um, 
what is it, the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive as, as a wet glue. That's my other favorite, but I really love the, see now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover up all my, this was kind of silly. I don't want to cover up the bats. So where's the other piece of, um, that I cut? These? Yeah, these. They're very thin. See, this has bats going down the side. Maybe I'll do that and just use this as my background. See, there's so many options. I don't know. I don't I don't want to cover it seems like I'm going to cover up the bats. And that's not what I want to do. So I'm just going to use this for sizing. I don't want to cover up the bats. But I liked, I want to put the gate, the gate isn't going to pop as much if I don't put it on something a little like orange, which maybe I shouldn't have cut that. But I can always glue it, it's not, it's going to be fine, don't worry, don't worry. Um, because this is orange, alright, hold on, let me cut this down to two and a half by three and a half. There's a lot of um, decisions you can make, and actually, I don't hate that either, because this might just be perfect. A little more mixed media, but I, I really love these bats. So I might just have to go with um, doing the bats like a side jam like that the moon. See, because I, 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 I'm going to lose the bats and I don't want to. I could fussy cut the bats out of this paper and just glue bats to the thing, too. There's one, two, three, but I really just want to use the paper. Um, because I like this. I like this better. That looks good. I don't need the orange. I'll make it I'll make a trim with the orange. Yeah, I think this is just going to be my background. And we'll put the the moon and then I lost this little hat. I think I am just going to glue everything, so I'm going to cut off the tabs, and I'm going to glue the costume right onto the Cupid doll. Okay. I like to use my little... um tweezers. You know what's fun is when I haven't done a project like this, like I was just wood burning again this morning, like I finished painting my little coffin. Anywho, um, I love when I switch it up because, so it's been about, I want to say five years since I've been doing paper crafting. And uh, what am I doing? I am, I can't think and okay. Um, anywho, uh, I could do it, could have done a better job, but, um, of cutting, but it's so fun when I revisit things like, because I don't do the same thing all the time. So then you just use your tweezers and line it up and bam. It's so fun, like I, you know, I mean, I bought these two. I remember being so excited when I bought them. <laughs> I just get excited about that stuff. Um, and uh, so it's so fun when I get to use them again. And these Cutter Bee scissors were such a like thing that I needed to have. And they're awesome for um, fussy cutting. So where should I put the glue? I'll put it all over the hat. She has her little cupy hair. Q 
creepy dolls have that weird little curl going on and then my little tweezers but they're awesome like for doing this type of because you can line it up and your big fumbly fingers don't get in the way hey listen but you don't have to have them I just do because I had to have them um, but th there is nothing that says you have to have them but look how cute did I actually some of the head is showing so I'm just gonna cut that off sorry cupid doll a little lobotomy a little cupid lobotomy I don't want that to show alright now so this is gonna be my background this is my moon now I can pop this moon up so let me just jump over here, which if I was doing paper crafts all the time, all my paper crafting stuff would be out, but my painting stuff is out right now. But this is what I mean. This is just that 3M, I don't know if it's, it's for mounting. I think it's called mounting tape. Um, I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to take, and you could double pop it, triple pop it, but I'm just going to single pop it because I want it to fit in my, um, and the sleeve. You don't have too much room. But it'll give it just enough. I'm not going to glue it yet because I'm still positioning and figuring out. I'll come in a little. All right, so now um, the gate, because we I could do, here's my piece that I maybe put this on the bottom. But see, I don't think you're going to see it. I don't I don't think we need it I, I was gonna put it just in the middle to have a little but I don't want to cover up the bat and I think I may end up covering up the bat anyway so when you cut when I cut that look at that I'm gonna cut this um, I love my paper cutter too and I've had a couple different paper cutters I like this kind that you can just buy the blades like this and it slides freely I've used ones with and I'm way too rough I break stuff so easily so look I'm gonna cut this so that my bat is right at the top see there's one there but I don't I'm gonna cover that with the moon and then I'll get my bang for the buck with the bat I'm still covering it a little um, and I can still use this and layer stuff on here. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to cut a little, I'm going to move this, like cut this off a little because that way maybe I can use, get a little bit of that orange coming from like that. It just looks prettier to me. I want to use up all the color I can. And I still like, you know what, I think I'm going to put black on the bottom, like it's a road or something. So I'm going to cut this into um, two and a half, I believe, because my ATC. Now, you didn't, I didn't have to do the ATC vertical either. I could have gone horizontal, although I don't know that she would fit horizontal, yeah. So this one pretty much has to go, well, for what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to go like that. And maybe go up a little with the gate. She can kind of just go right here. Hmm, she's going to have to be centered. And he can be poking out. Now I'm going to pop her up too. And maybe put her over here. See, I'm covering up that other bat. Dang it. I really like both of those bats to show. just not going to happen, Sarah. I'm popping her up, so I'm going to put some of the tape, and I just kind of fill in. Um, let's see. So you can cut pieces apart. Torso. 
and well that's there's nothing on the feet actually I will put a little piece on the feet you can cut this really small and it sticks it's pretty sticky which is awesome because that way the little feet will stay put because I'll pull you can pull it off when you're um putting it in and out of the sleeve tomorrow's Halloween guys I almost let it pass me by but this is so cute that this is one of my favorite things about Halloween is the cuteness of all the decorations okay so she's popped up oh, I'm just gonna have to not have my bats that stinks I could put the moon down I kinda like that cuz he's just shining from the background and then this oh wait maybe just put it like that So it almost just looks like um, a strip of orange over there, which is fine. Maybe I'll just cut, it, make it half and half. I still got to put my Happy Halloween. Um, jeez, because I really want the Happy Halloween, and I definitely wanted to put the trim. I think I'm going to put this nice piece of orange with the gold and then my pumpkin. So I think this is what I'm going to do. I want to use every little bit that I can. I like to use as much as I can. That's just how I roll. Some people um, are minimal when they design and decorate and I have a hard time stopping. But when it comes to something like this where I have been provided with supplies to use I kind of you know I get it in my head that I really want to use them um, I really like this I'm gonna cover up the bats a little bit I'm gonna center I'm gonna go this way more hmm let me see <gasps> excuse me what the back looks like no I still like this I think I'm going to just start gluing because I can't I can't keep repositioning so I'm going to do it because I'll change I have a hard time making decisions so I'm just going to go for it and there really is no wrong or right way and that's what's so cool like so if if you were in an ATC group and you just everyone got the same kit um so say we all get the same November kit next month um, all of our ATCs would turn out different when we when we shared them. So now how big do I want that black piece to be? Um, it can be as big or little or do I even want black or do I want to put this orange and the happy Halloween up here but then I'm covering that. I have him happy Halloween and it doesn't have to, it can go any way you want it to go. And I could make this so the gate opens, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I kind of like having, let me see if I even want the black. Maybe I want the orange. I kind of like the orange. It's a little wide. I'm going to use a little smaller, no, I'll just use this, yeah, because this, it's going to cover, um, the gate's going to cover it anyway. See, I don't need to use my fancy tweezers for everything, 
but um, Sorry, I'm thinking. I should have probably added this with um, wet glue. And I'm just making it so that the black shows through. You can cut from behind to keep it all even. I'll, I'll add this with wet glue. I like another glue that I love, love, love is Fabri-Tac. And generally when I'm using um, fabric, like ribbon, right? So this, is, this happens to be paper ribbon, but um, I, I love Fabri-Tac for gluing um, anything that's fabric or, you know, anything really. Fabri-Tac sticks, um, it'll stick metal, glass, whatever. It's a, it's a great adhesive too. And that's one of the fun things about being a paper crafter is you get to try out all these different supplies. I think I want to put this up here. And then my moon. Because you can see it. I'll put him a little lower. All right, so here's a perfect example of when I should use Fabri-Tac. And I'm wondering if I have it handy. Yay! because it is my, one of my faves. I just haven't used it in so long. But this ribbon, this Happy Halloween, is ribbon. It's made of fabric. So hopefully this will... It's a much more like... Um, it's tacky. It's like a gelatin almost, or I don't know what you would call it. But it's very sticky. So I'll show you. So I just put a little bit of that and it will not come off. I've done um, like cigar boxes and different projects where I've put ribbon and things all over it. And if you use a hot glue gun, it'll come right off. I mean, that's been my experience anyway. So I'm leaving a tiny bit of that orange showing and I'm letting it hang off the edge. I think I'm going to mount my moon. So you just pull off that backing and I think I'm going to let some of that Halloween show. But look, so I have my bats showing. So far, so good. Um, if you were really, really, you know, wanted to, you could take an X-Acto knife and cut more of the gate away, but I'm really not. I think it would um, kind of make it too flimsy as well. So I'm going to leave it and I'm going to mount it right there. And I am going to use the brads. Look, I have another piece of this gold, which I don't think I'll use. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to use the, oops, I'm not going to use Fabri-Tac. I'm going to use my regular, this is just white glue. This is I don't even, this is so old that I don't think they package it this way anymore. Um, and there's so many um, adhesives out there. People love Aileen's Tacky Glue, all different ones. And so just use your, whatever your preference is. It's all personal preference. And what works for you and what appeals to you. Just have fun. And I think these kits just make it so easy. It's just a no-brainer. I mean, yeah, you watched me fiddle and decide and, you know, try to figure out where I was going with it. But for the most part, I think I'm going to add the brads. And I have a little, like, um, I guess it's considered an awl. Or this was an, a tool. It says tollen station. I think it was for, like, um, piercing tin to make, I don't know what. Um, like if you were going to make a lantern, how they would poke the holes in it and make a little pattern on there so the light could shine through. Something like that, but I never used it for that reason. So I'm just holding it with my fingers apart and kind of figuring out where, like that's one 
of the um where a hinge would go right up oh, I'm bending it so I have a a self-healing mat here I should just push right into that because I don't want to bend the paper so that's two one two and a, a brad is basically um, a little button that has two little feet legs on the back of it that you can open up oh, you got to open it so that they don't stick out the uh, you don't see them um, but yeah so that's this is what now look if you don't want a gate in yours don't put the gate that's all just do how do it how you want to do it um, where would another hinge be I'm gonna put it right here and then right here so I just went right along that last bar of the of the fence of the gate ouch I also have when I used to do a lot more work with brads and things they have they sell little um like a tool uh, that like really bends them and I can't think of what it is it's around here somewhere and there's like also a little foam thing that you would like be able to stick anyway too many tools sometimes right all right I think I am gonna trim right here just a touch just looks a little off because everything else was lined up so well and then my little cupid doll goes on top and I guess the pumpkin will go right here but I am covering up the bats all that it all that um, work to, to keep my bats in the shot and you know it's all right I was trying it and it didn't turn out that way and I do think if I would have um, edged the, the gate with some ink it might have um, popped a little more or something I don't know I think right here look at that she's kind of looking up at the at the moon and the moon's kind of looking down at her so cute and then just for a little bling and glitz and glam which I love glam so much I mean anything sparkly and you know you're not done once you do that because you can I could still put glossy accents on my moon and make it shine um, I could still edge the whole thing a million like I could put glossy accents in the eyes of the pumpkin like like it's lit up add stickles add dimensional paint but as far as I'm concerned this is still looking super cute and then the last thing I would do would be to mount it because see look well you can, you've got the brads coming through the back of the paper so the last thing I do is just back it and then it just makes it nice and neat but I still have this little piece of gold you know maybe you know if you really I don't need it I don't need it I think we did done what we wanted to get done super cute happy Halloween thank you so much Lisa I think I am gonna take my glossy accents and I'm just gonna put a little bit this is um, a dimensional this is a glue too it's an adhesive but I am just going to put a little oh, it won't come out on my pumpkin gotta, gotta let it dry but just to let uh, it look like there's some shine and it'll give it dimension it just adds a little something something I like it could go crazy all right, you guys, so I also, I'm going to come up, sorry, because I know I come out of the shot when I zoom in. Just want to remind you, it's just, I'm sorry, your ATC store. Lisa Dawson is the owner. I will put the link in the description box, and you guys can go over and check it out. So we're already on to November, so who knows? Now, see, here's the um, little sleeve that I would just put my card in when I'm done, but I just put glossy accents, so I can't. Um, 
and it would stay protected. Um, who knows what she's gonna, what she's come up with for November. I can't imagine. Let me just show you what's inside these kits as well before I go. Um, I put the wrong lids on my glue. This one is September's. OMG. Let's just look at all the goodies in here. I'm telling you, and they're only like, I'm saying $3 is the maximum. She also sent me an ephemera kit. Okay, so this is September. It says, oopsie daisy. Here's the sleeve with a bunch of beads, a pearlescent flower, and a charm flower. Look at the, oh my God, I can't even. Look at this trim. Stop. Look at that trim. Can you see it? I gotta put that on top of like this green. Look at the colors. Oh my God. Daisy paper, two-sided, yellow cardstock. There's always an image. And I would just cut her out. I would just fussy cut her out and have her in the little field of daisies with and then just like maybe even just use my glossy accents and put this stuff all around it and then it just says oopsie daisy so that's that one and different cardstock trims so cute the colors just make me so happy this is the august and it looks like it's a hot air balloon i'll come back and make these I should, I'll have to make our um, October art journal page too, but I, you know, I'll, I can do that. I can be late. It's fine. This is too fun. All right. So it says up, up and away, a hot air balloon image, several different pieces of, this is like um, wax cord in yellow, an orange sparkly ribbon, a yellow, look at this, like for the sun, to represent the sun. Look at all these card stocks. Gorgeous. And I think like you get one card stock that has a pattern on it and then she just pulled colors from it. OMG, you know I'm gonna have to find some gears. This is too cute. <gasps> and I could make two, literally I could make two. No problem out of this, um, out of this much stuff. So cute, and a an hot air balloon charm. I don't know where she finds all the stuff. Like, I've actually taken the little um, corded ribbon, this type before, whatever it's called, twine, and just tied a bow and glued a bow on there too. Like, no one, there's no rules. Like, you can make it whatever you wanna make it. And then the last one she sent me was July. And these are all from this year, but all of these stay up on the website for a while. Like there's kits from, like if you love July, if you're a July baby, maybe you just wanna make all kits from all every July, she'll have them back to like 2015 or something, you know, like there's a lot. So this is July and it's got a brad. A lot of times I will use the brad to put the charm on. So I just stick this brad inside. Well, it doesn't fit on this one but it fits on a lot of them. Anywho, look, where's the hot air balloon? So look, you could just put, put this right in there and it holds the brad. I mean, the brad holds the charm right on your, um. so this one's about shopping. Girls gone shopping. Look at the colors though. So you have a, like the clothes mannequins and just bows. Um, shoes, open toe, pumps, and heels. Look at the colors and the black and white po polka dot. <gasps> so cute. And two images. There's three images because this is a shopping bag. Uh, she's got all her bags, so I could definitely make two um, really nice. Look at all these extra trims and a ribbon. Different, um, this is more like a glossy paper and you always, always get your sleeve to put it in when you're done. The image, I mean the, um, the words, what, what's this called? Um, sentiment, right? So I would cut this out. So I will definitely get back to you guys and be making ATCs. I'm gonna leave these right on my desk because when I feel inspired, I'm just gonna come in here, sit down, 
and make an ATC. So thank you, Lisa, so much. It was so fun to play with one of your kits, as always. Never, never disappointed. And happy Thanksgiving, guys. Thanks um, Thanksgiving. Halloween. Halloween is tomorrow. I'm getting a crown on my tooth tomorrow, so that's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.